OK, thanks, guys. We're going to get started with the questions now. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thank you. The months of preparation are finally over. Both sets of fans full of optimism. Hello, everyone. Sad to have to say that the weather hasn't cooperated here at Selhurst Park. It's a wet, soggy day. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And it is a day of renewal, the first game of the Premier League season. Always something to look forward to. It's Crystal Palace against the Bloated Ticks. Well, thanks, Derek. Always good to be with you on the opening day of the season. But I just sense from these away fans that this is going to be a tough campaign for their team. They'll certainly need to get off to a decent start, otherwise they could be in trouble. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Excellent ball over the top. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Diaz has it. Hudson. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Real chance. Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Niang, Garrido. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, nothing comes of it, it looked promising. A delicious piece of skill. Might take the lead. And that is defending of the highest order. 
Well, what about that opportunity a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. They take it short. A good and fair challenge. This looks promising out wide. A possibility. It's there for him. And there it is. 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So Palace get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Will Hughes... Jean-Philippe Mateta. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. It's a weighted pass. Garrido. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Could be a chance to break here. Zaha and the cross smuggled away and now the delivery now that was never likely to trouble the keeper Garrido Hudson. And well, they know they need to stop him. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Nicely saved. Well, that save could be the turning point here because they've been second best all over the pitch up to now. Oh, splendid skill. Can they hit on the break? And slipped through beautifully. Using his strength to shield the ball. Zaha. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Oh, and a wonderful stop. But now it grinds to a halt because the flag has been raised. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Ayu. Hughes. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Can he find the angle? That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. And short it is. Oh, it could be. Well, here's the replay, and it's a well-worked corner. They go short, change the angle, and then put the ball into the box. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Well, a shocking pass, really. Are you? And we are going to have two additional minutes. And now they sense victory. Crystal Palace goal, number 11, Wilfried Zaha. The referee's whistle, and that means the first half is... And the match...
Well, the ball is moving again. The blizzard takes trailing after the... First 45, will they fare better in this half? That's a well-struck pass. Teammates available, and looking towards the back post. Struggling to get it away. And in the end, no damage done. Could be a chance to break here. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football, and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front. But the deal has now been confirmed. Can he score here, Derek? Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Vaughan. It's with Diaz. Martinelli. A fine use of the ball. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Will Hughes. An interceptor there. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Taken short. Thank you. Delivered into the box. Well, still an issue here. Hudson firing it in. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Substitution time it is here. And the short option preferred. Well, no problems defensively. And making sure nothing untoward. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. This to get themselves back into it. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. Wilfried Zaha. Brilliant piece of skill. And now passing it through. Almost found its target, but cutting it out in the end. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Crystal Palace facing Manchester City. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Ducouré. Zaha. 
plenty of players waiting in the middle. Can he make it count? And a goal! They've added to their lead. Much needed security. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Diaz. Oh, that's a fine pass. Chance to make a game of it here. That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. And they're making a change. Ismail Assar. Saar. How about the cross? Great block. The pressure was high and they could be in here. And I think he'll be kicking himself. Ruled offside. Well, his instinct should have told him he was offside there. He has to be more alert in the box. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And play halted, free kick given. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Santos. Well, he could really get at the opposition. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Under real pressure here. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, did his job defensively. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Perfect challenge. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. An alert intervention. And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. Well, quite simply, Derek, they just weren't good enough in too many areas. Unless they improve over the next few games, they're going to be in trouble this season. Well, really, no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those... This looks promising out... Just a couple of questions for you.
That'll be all. Thank you so much.
Building to a crescendo all week, and very shortly it will be. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's the bloated ticks versus Leicester City. Well, Derek, the host didn't get off to a great start in their opening fixture, but it was always going to be difficult for them. Today, though, they have to play with more confidence. They need to express themselves more. Otherwise, it could be another tough match. Thorne. A chance to whip it in. Cutting in. What can he do from this position? Martinelli well, you can sense the threat is there but then the commentator's curse comes into play can he put them in front yes is the emphatic answer and you have to say it was on the cards. Well, the bloated ticks get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they find a quick response now? Decided to come in from the flank. And it all counts for naught. Garrido, Hudson. This attack looks highly promising. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, no damage done. The high press was very much on. He's found a pocket of space. 
Pratt. Simple save, really. On to Diaz. Hudson. Trying to really get at the opposition here. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Well, it's a great chance here, and don't these fans know it? And over comes the corner. Well, too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. Vardy. Leicester being afforded too much space here. Vardy. That's well blocked. Surely! Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Ali. Beautifully weighted ball. That's all they can conjure for now. Vardy. He's trying to create something. Oh, a smart stop. Elects to go short. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. And short it is. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Who can they pick out? Not away completely. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, can they exploit the space out wide? Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Indeedy. So nearing half-time with the bloated ticks behind. What do you think about the football so far? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more... Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! Oh, he's done it! But hang on, offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here, but the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. Martinelli. Diaz. Ali, how can he take them on and beat them? Well, he has players waiting at the back post. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Not a huge chunk of added time. Well, play is halted for the time being as the physio goes to work. And back in business again with a drop ball. Number seven, Rick Now the managers will now deliver their half. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. What a struggle to keep the ball for the ticks. And Thorne here. 
Chance to cross. Well, it's one pass after another. Simple catch, really. Well, PSG have been busy in the transfer market. The contract situation has been signed and sealed, and he could be available as early as the next game, Stuart. Well, he's certainly got ability. A lot of clubs have been in for him, but now he needs to fulfil that potential. He might just have to be patient, though. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, showing excellent vision. Could be. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Vaughan. Martinelli. Thorn. And successfully cut out. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Leicester City facing Manchester City. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. There are so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Now with Diaz. And he takes on the shot. And no way through. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Chance to equalise here. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Opportunity it is. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Playing it short. Vardy. It's a perfect challenge. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Into the final 20 minutes. Garrido. Martinelli and the ticks moving forwards what can they do from here what a game we've had so far goals at both ends some near misses as well and some good individual displays you can't take your eyes off of this oh good skill and he's managed to beat his man and that is how to block and he could be in proper trouble here and unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. On to Diaz. Vaughan. And Niang now. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. There's a slide rule pass. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every 
chance and the fans are lapping this up. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Rick Karsdorp. Vestergaard. On the attack in the closing phase. This could level it. But denied by the keeper. And at this late stage in the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. And time for the change now. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, it has come to nothing. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. And Niang now. He has teammates around him. But timely defending when it mattered. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. Varela. Really showing off his wide range of passing skills. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Delivered into the box. Great pressure to win the ball back. The referee blows for full time. It ends in a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, I thought they played well. They've had a tough start to the season, but this win will certainly give them confidence. He's trying to create something. Oh, a smart stop. Just a couple of questions for you. Thank you for answering the questions.
building to a crescendo all week and very shortly it will be Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And live action coming up from the Carabao Cup. It's the bloated ticks and they face Burton Albion. Thanks Derek. Well the hosts are clear favourites going into this tie. But with that comes pressure, particularly against a team that will remain compact, are well drilled defensively and are a threat on the counter-attack. Opportunity! A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Taylor with it. And given away. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Varela. And slipped through beautifully. And the bloater ticks in a position of potential menace. Unable to keep the ball that time. Charlie Kirk Taylor with it very quick thinking there oh in with a chance well a wasted opportunity it would have been a decent chance but offside the decision